What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, alrighty. So, yeah, the last episode. Another side quest that really, really bugged me, so hopefully in this episode it's gonna be a little bit better. I'm just saying, because uh, Draven needs a little bit of a cheering up and all that stuff, since this whole si social, social distancing has been bugging the crap out of me, I'm hoping all of you too. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Istra City. Now, this lady right here is like, when the wetlands, f uh, wetlands freeze, it's slippery, I wonder how the wetland Pokemon manage. Well, they probably go into hibernation and all that crud. Or like real animals, they probably know when a tornado or a hurricane is coming, and as you can see, the wetlands get a little bit uh, slippery right here. Now, it will actually lead us to the next route, and uh, well, I wanted to show you this. Since it is winter, you will be able to actually get up here, and I think there's some hidden items right around here. Yeah, right around here. She's probably right behind this little bastard. Let's see, where is it? Right here. Here's somewhere. Right there. Okay, so, nope. God dang it. It's probably up top, okay? So as you can see, it's snowy. You can go up to different places right here. Very, very easy. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right up to the other area right here. And uh, something's being detected, and it's right here. There we go. We found ourselves a tiny mushroom. And, oh, wow, there's another thing right here. A big mushroom right next to it. And, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Medium Russian mushroom? No, it's a tiny mushroom. <laughs> okay, so that's all the mushrooms right there. We're not going to be attacked by any Pokemon. And we're going to be going right here. Let's see. What if you talk to this guy? Oh, member of Team Rocket I was a long time ago. Gone. But, Team Rocket bye bye a go go. I rejoined with. Or what the hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to read this again. Oh, member of Team Rocket I was long time gone. But Team Rocket, bye bye, a go go. I, my region, went home. Make new Team Rocket, I did. So myself, I pledge. But now, I'm. I married him. Now, for Team Rocket, there is no time for, uh, by me. But my happy family is big hooray. Oh, well. If you guys don't remember who this guy is, you probably met. Like, you guys know who this guy is. Seriously, you've met him before. I'll give you a second to think about that. Yay. Johto. Kanto. You know, Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Yeah. This is the the international team rocket that stole the generator from uh, the power plant. And it would appear that he's from Unova. And he made himself a family, which is good. Very, very good. My dad used to have a cool job in the faraway region. No, he didn't. He was a bad guy at one point. Welcome. Hey, I have a lot of souvenirs that my sweetie, uh, sweetie's old co-workers gave me. I don't mind giving it one to you. And here we get a Rage Candy Bar. And, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that right there is not a cool souvenir. If you guys remember. Uh, that? Yeah, that was like a, I guess that was like a Ponzi scheme or something. I don't even know, but that was just like... Some diabolical scheme that Team Rocket came up with. Now, the Rage of Candy car, uh, the Rage of Candy Bar, you can actually use uh, over at the desert at some point to wake up some Darmanitan, Darumakas, and all that crud. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, not slide by. Now, this place would be a little bit harder. It will be a little harder when those, this whole thing defreezes because, of course, there is a. Uh, th th this is the same swamp that you would normally find over at Pokemon Platinum, Diamond, and, uh, and uh, Pearl, and all that crud. So, here we are in Isra City, and, uh, let's see, you go up a little bit further right here, you're gonna be seeing people dancing and all that crud, and, well, they're in the way. If I could just get through these guys, there we go. We can actually grab this, the rare candy, which will, that makes five rare candies right there, and, let's see, Pokemon Fan Club is right here. Wait, there's an item close by. Where is it? Right... Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Stop. Right here. Found ourselves a Max Potion. Always nice to go. So let's go straight to the Pokemon Fan Club right here. And let's see what they, these guys have to say. Now, talk to this guy. <clears throat> I am the chairman who loves Pokemon the most uh, among Pokemon fans in the world. If you are a trainer, 
Will you show me how you are raising your Pokemon with loving care? Sure. Oh, which Pokemon would you show me? I'm always gonna I'm always gonna show my starter Pokemon because uh, yeah, that's the one that likes me the most. Oh, this Samurott was level five when you when you met. Now he's at level 45. You've raised it well. You must be affectionate. Bam! We get ourselves another experience share. Alrighty. That is a token of a gratitude of for showing me your great love for Pokemon. So. We got another experience share. Now, it doesn't really work the same way. Like, if you have two experience shares, that actually cuts it in half just a little bit more, but still, it's an experience share. So, we're gonna give that to Hotshot right here. And let us continue on right here. Let's see. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Shall I check your friendly Pokemon or is towards you, or your Pokemon is friendly towards you? Let's go with Ace right here. Oh, wait, that's my Stoutland from Scotland. It's super friendly to you. I am a bit jealous. Hold on. Hold on. I want you to check my starter Pokemon right here. And, oh, your Samurai. Super friendly and a bit jealous. Okay, so she doesn't give us anything right here. Alrighty, so let's see. Continuing on right here. You will find the Easter City Gym. And uh, before we go there, we need to take a look at other stuff right here. Like, uh, let's see. Hold on, let's see. A legendary Pokemon, Zekrom, shared its wisdom with the hero and defied foes with fierce lightning. The hero and that Pokemon were as close as a parent and child. People were filled with awe and looked up to them. And that is said to be the beginning of what became ancient Unova. Alrighty. I'm gonna still look at the, the uh, balancing machine because there might be some hidden items right around here. Now let's see. If we live... If we live a mono monotonous life, do we get used to it and stop thinking about changing it? I don't know. Listen, listen. I heard, I heard that Byron or Bryson was in the movies a long time ago. True. This is very, very true. We will be finding that a little bit sooner. Uh, pretty much a uh, Pokemon Black and White too. They say ideals intermingled with the truth, and uh, in the Dragon Spiral Tower was created. It was, uh, it has been there watching us for thousands of years. I don't know whether or not this is true. Okay, so now the legendary stories are starting to come out. They're starting to come out, and, uh, we're, we're, we're really gonna start learning about, uh, the history of Unova and all that crud. Let's see, let's go right here. And this guy looks at us. What the hell? Hi! This way, please. What the hell is going on right here? Exciting, thrilling, zippy, chilling. It's a pip quiz. Today's challenger is this person. Have a name, you know. Hiya. Welcome. Pip quiz starts now. Answer the answer lots of quizzy questions and watch your brain get brainier. Let's start with a question. Uh oh, what the hell? Good luck. Ah, a question. Oh shit. Sounds serious right there. What is uh, the grass monkey Pokemon that grows a leaf on his head? Oh damn, oh damn, she's, okay, oh my, it's tremendously difficult, can the challenger answer this? Yes, I can, uh, hint, 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 okay, let's see, uh oh, the audience is asking for a hint, okay, I will give you a hint, it's not Bulbasaur or, or Turtwig, aha, uh -huh. this is a good hint, challenger, please answer, what is the grass monkey that grows a leaf on his head, hmm, let's see, Pants Age? Yeah, okay, so let's go right ahead and find that pants age. Okay, so we can't double down. Here we go, pants age. Alrighty, and confirm. And we got it right, yes, correct! Okay, everybody's uh, happy about me. Congratulations, now this is a prize, it's an antidote. Oh, damn. Okay, so. Let's see, exciting, thrilling, zippy, chilling, that is a pep quiz. See you tomorrow. So I'm assuming that you're gonna you're gonna be getting a lot of prizes every single day if you're going into that pep quiz kind of thing. Now before we go to the gym right here, let's go up top. Now you can only get up here when it's snowing, and that will take quite a while to actually do, so let's go actually I'm already have it on. And uh, yes, we're gonna be getting attacked by Pokemon. And look at that! A swass book. Winter form! Remember, Swastbucks. They have different kinds of forms. Awesome Pokemon to actually have. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna battle it. I kinda wanna level up my Pokemon. I have five root candies to just to just waste. So might as well 
get all like a, quite a few of my Pokemon at level 40 right here. So here we go another slash attack. This Pokemon right here is a tough one. And here comes another aromatherapy. God dang it, here we go. And slash attack. There we go. Finish off the Swasbuck and uh, Sausbuck. It's not Swasbuck. Sausbuck! And well, let's grab this item right here. We found ourselves a nugget. Very, very awesome. And here we have another Pokemon ready to attack us. Okay. And oh shoot, it's a double battle. Vanillish and a Swasbuck. Alright. Let's take care of business right here. Let's go right ahead and use a Rock Slide. And I can't use a Surf because that right there will make one of my Pokemon faint. So let's go with Vanillish. Here we go. Rock Slide. Knew somebody was going to avoid it. And Vanillish. Oh, wait. That, that was Swasbuck that, that avoided it. Right. And here comes that Energy Ball. So here we go. Revenge. Let's get it. And that takes care of Vanillish right there. Okay, alrighty. Drillmonger grows to level 38. Yeah, buddy. And who else grows to level? Giga Lift and not yet get more levels right there. So let's go right ahead and just uh, beat this guy right here. I know, I know. Doing double battles or doing uh, wild Pokemon battles. This is a new one right here. I'm not trying to uh, put in any kind of fillers, but I am trying to uh, grow my Pokemon's levels right now. That way we can get to level 40, all of us. And oh crud. Okay, here we go. Revenge. Alrighty, here we go. Revenge. Does it do it? Can it do it? Saucebug has been defeated. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, there we go. Sign of the Torrent grows to level 46, and everybody else is happy right here. So let's just continue on right here. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked by Pokemon trainers right now. Let's go right ahead and not heal up our Pokemon. Actually, hold on. I gotta check up on a little something right here. So Drillmonger is at level 38. Yes, sir. And here we go. This guy is close to level 50. Gigalift level. Okay, so we're very, very close right here. Actually, I think I might do something a little different. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get up here. Holy crap. Never mind. I thought we were going to get attacked by Pokemon trainers right here. Never mind. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the Istra City Gym. We will be battling for another badge, or seventh badge, and then after that, hopefully something crazy happens? I don't even know. I really don't know. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.